Yeah, we love to consider hockey our own here in Canada, and many Canadian kids will grow up reading hockey books. But for many of them, they'll do so without seeing themselves represented with characters who look like them. Well, author Jail Richardson and illustrator Chelsea Charles are filling the diversity gap in literature and sports with their new children's book, The Hockey Jersey. Jail joins us now along with her contributor, my own hockey star and daughter, Miss Eva. I'm very proud uh, that she's also on the cover of this book, which is incredible. So, Jail, I want to start yeah. with you. Talk to us about this book and how the project just all came together. Yeah, so the book's called The Hockey Jersey, as yes. you said. And it was an initiative that I did with Scotia Bank and their Hockey for All initiative, mm -hmm. um, which is about changing the face of hockey. And that's really what enticed me into the project. Yeah. All my writing has been about filling the gaps that I didn't see, uh, the people that I didn't see in the books on the covers where I didn't see myself represented. Mm -hmm. um, and so the Hockey Jersey is about changing the face of hockey, but also just providing books that represent more of us. You grew up an athlete. You are an athlete. So you grew up, um, and I want to know what your experience was like in terms of seeing yourself reflected in, in the sports you loved. Yeah. What was your sport, by the way? My sport was soccer. Your That's soccer. I played all the way through. Yeah. A little bit of basketball, some track and field as well. Um, my dad was a professional football player, so yes. we were surrounded by sports all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, especially as young girls, you don't see yourself represented in a lot of sports books in a lot of sports conversations. Yeah. And so for me, there was this question about, well, for me, whenever you don't see yourself represented, there's a question of whether you belong. Right. And there's the feeling that you are weird, you're odd, mm -hmm. you don't fit in. Mm -hmm. And that's the real challenge in a sport or in literature when you don't see yourself represented. There's this growing feeling that there's something off about you, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm really looking to change. Absolutely. Okay, Eva, I got a question for you. When Jail reached out to me, she was looking for, you know, a girl who played hockey, um, who could sort of represent a lot of folks that you don't really see playing hockey. How did you both work together? Like, what did you do in, so, in, with the book? Basically, I helped with overall the, like, vibe was, like, out, off ice, like, in the change room, yeah. the order that you put on the armor, and then finally, because I speak French, yeah. I help with the French translation. So that's amazing. So like you wanted to get a, like a vibe check. What's it like in that locker room? Yeah. What's it like in that change room? And that's where all of the yeah. excitement goes down. And some of the key parts of the story, you know, these key elements as you read it with the different characters and what's going on, were inspired by what Eva was talking about in terms of her own experience. She just had such great, honest ideas about what's so amazing about the sport of hockey. I think yeah. that was what I wanted to capture as well. Something that's very unique about hockey and how people who haven't maybe seen themselves or felt included in it might benefit from dipping into the sport. Well, listen, as her mom, it's like I'm probably more surprised than anyone else that I've got two hockey players in my house. So this was not what I expected. I did not grow up watching hockey because there, what, there isn't a lot of representation, and it wasn't a sport that I played. So the fact that I have two kids that are so ensconced in the sport is, is, is interesting. And, Evie, I want to ask you this. Like, why do you think it's important to see maybe people who look like you in a book about hockey? Because when people see people that look like them, in books or anything really they feel like they feel c like they get courage from it because mm -hmm. they feel like oh i can do that too so i think it's really important for girls who look like me to have this book or books like this mm -hmm. so that they can feel like feel empowered <laughs> yeah it's yeah. true they feel like they belong right yeah. if you see it you can actually be it yeah. and you know i've had so many young girls come and say oh well now that i've seen you doing the show i know that i can do a show yeah. Right? And it's the same for anything. If you can see it, you can start to dream about actually being in that position. It's such a simple concept, yeah. but it, it really is salient. Yeah. So, Jail, what are you hoping um, like young hockey players and aspiring hockey players will take away from the hockey jersey? Well, I hope everyone reads it, right? Yes. There's this feeling like I hope everyone reads it, and yeah. I hope there are kids who haven't seen themselves represented, who see themselves in this book and feel what Eva was talking about, that empowerment, mm -hmm. that courage, that boldness. Mm -hmm. And I hope the people who maybe aren't represented in the book in yes. some ways also see that the sport is for everybody. Right. And that there's a real benefit in making spaces more inclusive. Mm -hmm. You know, we always talk about the challenges and difficulties and sort of the awkwardness of inclusivity. But the long-term benefits for everyone are so rich. 
And that's what I hope people take away from reading this. Like, I wish my team looked like this. I wish I was on right. a team that was like this. Absolutely. I'm, uh, I was delightfully surprised to see the amount of community mm -hmm. that happens in hockey. Yeah. And I think, you know, that's one thing that you love about oh, it. Yeah. You really love having that network of folks that kind of have your back outside of the school community. And they really are a team and they're testing their power and their energy and all the things they can do out there. And it's, to me, it's delightful to see as a parent them out there doing their thing and, and having that community. So I would love for it to be open for everyone yeah. to be involved in, you know. Buying the hockey jersey helps donate to a really good cause. So, Jill, tell us a little bit more about that and where people can actually pick up their own copy. Yeah, so you can get a copy at independent bookstores. Uh, when you buy the book at Indigo, 100% uh, of the net proceeds go to Hockey for Youth, which is an initiative that helps uh, folks learn about the game, learn about skills on and off the ice, and really is about making the sport more inclusive. Really good. So are you happy with your contribution to the oh book? God. Yes, I'm very happy, especially to have like my name on a book. <laughs> what? It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So this is for grandma and grandpa. It does say Eva Perron. It's like, that's her, which is amazing. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, 